And we are back on Sportsman Radio. I'm your host, Chris Shanafel, and I am now joined by one of the newest members of the Indianapolis Colts out of the University of Oregon. He, he plays free safety, John Boyette. Thanks for joining the show, John. How's it going? It's going pretty good. It's going pretty good. How about yourself? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. And I want to start this interview off by asking you, uh, of course, being from California, having many schools look at you, how did you decide that the University of Oregon would be the best fit for you? Yeah, I actually uh, took a few unofficial visits early in the process. Um, so when I started getting offers rolling in, you know, I, I kind of had a few schools narrowed down, and, and Oregon and, and Stanford were pretty much my first two offers. And uh, I liked, liked Oregon from the get go. I liked the coaches there. It was Coach Pilate was the head coach. Coach John Neal was the defensive back coach, and Nick Alberti was the defense coordinator. Heard a lot of great things about them, and and uh, wanted to become a duck. Did you know that you would be redshirting your freshman year in 2008, or did it not matter? It didn't. I mean, I didn't know that I was going to be redshirting. I thought I was going to be able to go up there and compete. Um, but, you know, as part of the athletics, I, I went up there and I realized uh, the four starters at the time were T.J. Ward, who was going into his fourth year starting with the Browns. Karis Bird was going into his fourth year starting with uh, uh, the Bills. Uh Walter Thurman, who's uh, been in the NFL four years now, and then also uh, Patrick Chung, who played uh, for the Patriots for four years and is now with the, uh, the Eagles. So I got to learn from, from those uh, great players there uh, while I was redshirting and also learn from uh, my coach, Coach Neal. So it was great learning experience and, and a time for me to develop my game. Yeah, definitely some great guys to learn from. And it was in 2009 when you, uh, it was during your redshirt freshman year, you actually led the Oregon Ducks in tackles. Uh, what was it like to impact the team as much as you did during your first year of eligibility? You know, it was great. It was great to be able to, uh, you know, get my name called and, and step in there as a freshman and, and just play well, play well for my team. And, and yeah, it was crazy to think that I'm the only freshman that would lead Oregon and, and tackles and doing it as a safety, you know, it's just a great honor. And I was just playing, playing next to some great players. I had to play next to TJ Ward that year, and, and he's a heck of a player. Now let's fast forward. You missed nearly all of this past season, which was your senior year, as you had surgery on both of your knees to repair partial tears of both. Uh, patellar tendons I, I gotta imagine that was pretty tough especially with the uh, the successful year you guys had going 12 and 1 and dominating Kansas State 35 17 in the Fiesta Bowl yeah it sucked you know I wish I could have been out there you know battling with my teammates um, you know sometimes sometimes sports will throw a bump, bump in your road and you know you just have to handle it the best you can and, and uh, it was unfortunate that I wasn't able to play you know but I'm happy that And during your time at the University of Oregon, you were able to be a part of teams that played in the BCS championship game and win a Holiday Bowl, a Rose Bowl, and a Fiesta Bowl. Overall, how would you describe your experience at the University of Oregon? It was a great experience. You know, I came in there and we went to my freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior year. We went to four straight BCS games. It was just a tremendous experience. I made some great friends while I was there and, and uh, during the last, last lifetime. Now, John, I don't know if you know this or not, man. I'm from Chicago. I'm a pretty big Chicago Bears fan. We selected guard Kyle Long out of Oregon in the first round just uh, in the draft a couple months ago. What can Bears fans expect out of uh, your former teammate, Kyle Long? Yeah, Kyle's a tremendous kid, man. He, he, uh, he's just a fun guy to be around. Uh, the players in the locker room will love having him around. He works hard, and uh, he's a tremendous athlete, obviously. Getting left in the first round. Chris Schaffel here talking with Indianapolis Colts safety John Boyette on Sportsman Radio. And it was in the sixth round of the 2013 NFL Draft. The Indianapolis Colts selected you, John Boyette, safety out of the University of Oregon. What was that moment like for you to make it, uh, I should say officially make it to the NFL? It was a great moment, you know, being there with my friends and, and family that day. Just, you know, knowing I worked my whole life to, to get a shot at the NFL. And, and more importantly, I was just so so happy to be a part of and, and get in the draft, draft to the part of a great team and, and organization. 
Shortly after you were drafted, former Colts head coach Tony Dungy said John Boyette will help the Colts. He's a leader and a tough guy. Uh, he missed this past year, but he's going to be a good pro. Do those words from a guy like Tony John, uh, Dungy mean anything to you? Yeah, definitely. When you, when you get a guy like Tony Dungy to um, say a few good words about you, you know, you, you just feel honored and, and that privilege that somebody of that caliber thinks highly of you. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the Colts just this past season had a very successful year, exceeding expectations by uh, making a playoff appearance with an 11-5 record. I say the sky's the limit for this team. How excited are you to, you know, join the Indianapolis Colts? Very excited. I'm very excited to, to join the, this, this great franchise, this, this team and organization. You've got a lot of great players, and uh, I'm just looking forward to uh, helping the team whatever way I can. Any Oregon Ducks uh, on that team with you? No Oregon Ducks. No <laughs> Oregon Ducks. I'm the only one. There's a whole lot of Stanford guys. So I get some crap and stuff like that. Uh, but it's a lot of fun playing with them. Well, John, I know OTAs and minicamp have come and gone. I know you weren't active in either of them, but what was it like to you know be around your teammates and watch them compete in practices? Yeah, I wasn't able to uh, do the OTAs and the mini camps. Um, they they want me to really take it slow, and and uh, you know it was great to be around the guys and just uh, see what the locker rooms like. We got a great group of guys in the locker room, and uh, just being able to just learn and slowly but surely learn the defense and get out there. I'm excited for the future. Now, here's something I found pretty interesting. NFL.com compares you to James Leonard. Uh, I'm kind of curious to your answer to this question. If John Boyette would compare himself to any player uh, currently playing in the NFL today, who would that be and why? <laughs> you know, I'm not really sure who I compare myself to. Uh, you know, I try to just compare myself to who I want to be and, and just keep continually working every day to that person that I that I see myself being and, and want to be in the future. So I wouldn't compare myself to anybody else. I just want to continue to work hard and try to be the best player that I can be. Hey, i like to hear that. Uh, what can Indianapolis Colts and fans around the world expect out of rookie safety John Boyette? <laughs> you know, they can, they can just expect a blue-collar blue collar type kid who's got to come to work and, and give it his all every, every day and, and, and play all out when it comes to game time and help the team in whatever way I can. Sounds great. John, I really appreciate your time, man. I have just a few quick, fun questions to get to know you, Ben, then I'll let you go. Does that sound good? Sounds good. All right, John, what's your favorite TV show and movie? TV show? Um, oh, oh, favorite TV show. You know, I like to watch The Entourage, but they just canceled that. Me and one of my friends. He got me hooked on the entourage, but it's no longer playing. TV show, you know, I like watching sports. You know, I'm a sports guy, and, and the same, same when it comes to movies, any sports movie, I like watching biographies on, on players and, and people's lives that are somehow involved with athletics. Favorite thing to eat? Favorite thing to eat? I love a good steak. <laughs> Could never go wrong with that. Except for football, what is your favorite sport? You're on Twitter at John N. Boyette. Why do you make it important to connect with your fans? Because as we know, if it wasn't for Twitter and social media, we wouldn't be doing this interview right now. And I got to say, I really appreciate it, John. Hey, yeah. Yeah, thanks for having me. And, and uh, I'm glad I could uh, give you an interview for you. Mm -hmm. If you're able to meet any famous person, who would that be and why? All right, just a couple more questions for you, John, and that is, as a safety, would you rather have an interception or a forced fumble? Interception or forced fumble, huh? Uh, either one, either one. You know, anytime you get to make a 
game changer play, whether it's a big hit, a tackle for a loss, interception, a fumble. Um, you, you feel proud just to be able to uh, help your team win and, and make a play to change, change the pace of the game. Do you have something specific you do before every game, like a pregame ritual? You know, I don't. I, I kind of just just go with the flow, whatever I feel like doing that day, or whatever I feel like is going to get me ready to try to play the next best game. Um, that's that's what I try to do. I try to just play my best game every week and, and get a little bit better and try to learn learn from the things I do well and, the, and the, maybe the mistakes that I made last week. You know, every game is a learning experience, and I just try to go out and, and get myself ready whatever I can so I can play the next best game. Absolutely, and last but not least, this is, gonna, this is gonna be a tough one, man. What is something about John Boyette that many people do not know about? Something that people do not know about. Ooh, a lot of people think you know football players are you know big tough guys, but you know I'm, uh, I'm a very personable type of guy, and and I like to give back to the community. I feel like. Uh, you know, I like to give back when I go back home and, and uh, you know, help out and coach youth football camp, which is at my youth football camp, which is a high school camp that, I mean, the high school that I went to, and they put on the annual one-week camp, so I'm, I'm able to uh, go there and, and, and speak to all the kids and just try to give them a little bit of advice, you know, something that I did or something that I think helped me and just give it to them and, and give them a little inspiration and, and tell them to keep pursuing their goals because if you aim for the stars, good things can happen. That's awesome. I really appreciate your uh, time, John. Is there anything you'd like to plug on the air for myself and our listeners before I let you go? I'm sorry, you broke up a little bit. Can you repeat that question? Uh, pretty much. I just said I really appreciate your time, man. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Is there anything else you'd like to plug on the air for myself and our listeners before I let you go? Hey, I just want to say thanks for having me on there, and uh, go Colts. Hey, sounds great. Best of luck this season, and take care, all right, man? Thank you. Take care of yourself.